what's up? I'm Sandra Bullet, and today I'll be reviewing, uh, honestly, uh, the product that I use, uh, one of the products that I use on one of my video clips, and this is Savich Hair Coloring Wax. Uh, I use four colors. Uh, I use the brown, the red, I use the white, and I used the black one, okay? So, by the way, there's a link for my video clip, so if you want, if you just want to see the final result and if you just want to see how it looks like on video, well, I, th I think video it's better than photo because you see it in motion, uh, just go to the video clip, there's a card somewhere on the video, you can go straight to watch the video clip and uh, you can see that on some scenes I'm wearing the white one and you can see that the white one is not uh, white, it looks, uh, it looks gray. So yeah, this white one is a bit um, deceiving. Uh, I was thinking that my hair would be white and as you can see, that is like gray hair, it's not white hair. Okay, so um, this is about the white one. About the black one, to be honest, this was one of my favorite results and this is not black also per se you can see that it's a very it's a dark gray i hope this i hope you can see it there it's dark gray but it has like these reflexes that they are not but again it's not black i don't feel that it's um accurate to say this is black because it's not it's dark gray and then we have the the red and the brown one which again i mean uh, this is not brown, okay? I'll start with this one so uh, you can see some footages of the, the video. And again, this is not brown, okay? <laughs> this is uh, red with a touch of bronze. And then it, finally, we have the red one, which uh, I do feel like it's more of a pinkish red also. So yeah, one of the things that I want to start saying is that the colors are not what they look like. And when you're buying a hair product, that is massive, right? You want to know which color your hair is going to stay, is going to be. So this is what the first thing that I notice is the the hair, the the colors are not accurate. Also the pictures, okay? Because as you can see uh, on the video, you know these two had uh, a lot. I mean the result was a lot better, right? And. Um, the reason why the result was a lot better with these two was because I styled my hair after. So you can see that uh, on the white one or gray one, um, I'm wearing, I'm, I have like this intricate hairstyle and that uh, allowed me to um, make it a lot more uh, believable and viable. Uh, same thing with the, the black dark gray one. Uh, I also, I curled my hair, I used a curling iron, and yes, you can use heat on these products, okay? This is a major thing, you can use heat on these products, and you should. <laughs> and when I curled it, I, I curled my hair, and the result was a lot better. So on these two, I was trying to go for a more uh, loose hairstyle, and that's when everything came crumbling down. You can see that the hair is not flowing, you can see that the hair is stuck, and believe me, that was, I mean, um, you can brush uh, your hair after putting these products, but they stick it, they have like this sticky feeling. So it's really great for styling because they end up um, with a fi they have kind of this fixing issue, which is, which is great, your hair gets fixed. But it's not great if you want to if you want to use your hair down. I mean, if you have if you want curls, that's perfectly perfectly fine, right? But if you want a flowy hair, I will not I would not recommend these products. They don't work well. This is my natural hair, and I'm I'm putting my hair here. Uh, it's dry um, because I wanted to show how my natural hair looks like. Um, this is not color. Okay, this is my natural hair. I don't, uh, I don't decolor my hair. I've tried to bleach my hair, but my hair doesn't react very, very doesn't react well at all to bleaching. My hair is very thin, uh, and so uh, I don't like bleaching my hair. But I love color, colored hair. And as you know, if you have darker hair, uh, you when you try lighter colors, sometimes they don't show up on your hair as they should. So one thing that I wanted 
to uh, say about this product is that it does its job okay the I mean the colors are not that reliable um, and the, the, the touch is not that pleasant but it does its job okay it stays on um, it goes away after you wash it so it's really cool that if you want if you are going to a party if you're going to an event or in my case if you're doing something special like a video clip if you're shooting something even if you're taking some pictures it's great for that but um, about the product per se I have to say that and I have to uh, advise you to please test do a small test of the product between before coloring your whole hair and of course you should do this with all hair products but on this one I mean I just feel because it has like oh my gosh it smells like chemicals like it smells like a chemical factory it's 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 so heavy and um, being so being so chemical heavy and having such a strong scent uh, it's more likable that you can do a reaction okay so I will I would advise you to try first at a little bit of your hair uh, remember you should have your hair uh, wet to put it on and I will I will I will wash my hair in a bit okay so I've used this before for my video clip so I want of course to do that test I know that I'm fine with it I don't like the smell but that's it that's pretty much it I don't have any um, other reactions to it um, so yeah, I'm going to apply this and uh, one thing that is really important, um, the hair must be 80% dry and I know that's weird, right? What is 80% dry? <laughs> Basically, you know, just wash your hair, uh, wash your hair like you usually do and dry it with a towel, okay? Um, and the hair must be in a way that is... Uh, wet but not dripping wet okay I, I hope that makes sense um, but um, if you are in doubt it's better to be to have more water than less water in your hair why because if you are applying the product and uh, it does take a while to apply the product and I don't have that much hair so if you have a lot of hair uh, keep in mind that it will take a lot of time to apply in the whole hair and you want your hair wet overall okay you don't want your hair to start drying while you're still applying the product trust me okay um so yeah i'm gonna dry uh i'm gonna wet oh my gosh i'm gonna wash my hair <laughs> i'm gonna wash my hair and um apply and do this um and let's do this okay i'm back and i just washed my hair and i just put a towel uh another thing that i wanted to say that you will need okay you if you have uh, one of these for your hair, sorry, I don't know the name, uh, please use it. And remember, all the objects that you use will be stained with this product. A uh, good thing is that it comes out with water, okay? It comes out with water, but if you don't wash it right away, it may, please, it may, it may uh, stink a bit. Uh, stink? No, it may stain. It, it may stain a bit, okay? So another thing when you're using a brush, use one that uh, you don't mind getting stained because again, it will get stained. It will eventually come off, uh, but it will stay for a very long time if you don't wash it right away. And of course, if you're applying the product, you are not constantly washing everything. Same thing about your clothes, okay? Where, I mean, it comes out of the clothes, but um, let's play it safe, okay? Wear something that you don't mind staining. Uh, same thing about the towel, okay? But like I say, I mean, it it does come out, okay? It does come out with water, but uh, it may it may persist a bit. So yeah, better play it safe than ruin your stuff. So this is basically how you want your hair. And I didn't I didn't do anything. I just I went to wash my hair and came straight here. So I just put a towel on it, and that's pretty much how you want it. Uh, I do advise you to I do advise you to brush your hair really well before putting the product because when you're putting the product, uh, you don't want to brush it while it's still uh, wet because if you do, it will totally come out of your hair and uh, will will basically paint your brush and not your hair. Okay, so um, 
brush your hair thoroughly before applying the product. One, I think this one has. Yeah, I'll just use this one. But to be honest, you can mix these two. You can see on my on my video clip that is not much of a difference between the red one and the brown. It's just the reflections. But my dog just came to pay me a visit. I think she will go away as soon as I start painting my hair with this because again the smell it's really intoxicating. Okay, so there you go. So as you can see, I have my hair 80% um, wet, whatever that means. Um, so I just dry it with a towel. And now what I will do is actually I will put this towel. This is an old towel, so I can I can stay I don't mind uh, under my shoulders. And now what I will do is actually I will separate my hair and. Um, Start with um, small chunks of hair, okay? If you have more hair than me, it will take a longer time than me, of course. So I will start with these things here. Okay. So, uh, you can use gloves, okay? But if even if you use your hair, I mean, if you have nails, uh, I, I, I'm not very pro, pro, I mean, I don't know how it is with fake nails, uh, um, because I can never get, I mean, I could never be functional with uh, big nails or fake nails, so I have very, I have trimmed nails, so it's, it will be really easy to wash it from my hands after. But I do notice that sometimes it does cling a bit to um, your nails, but it's nothing that, I mean, with, with a brush or something, you can take it off very easily, and I work better without gloves. So I won't be wearing gloves, but you can wear gloves, and you should if you feel um, that makes sense to you. So. I'm starting with this part of my hair, okay? And basically you just have to grab a bit of the product. It doesn't it doesn't um, drain as you can see. And then you have to rub it on your hand. You have to warm it a bit. And this is the fun part actually. You see? <laughs> this is the fun part. Okay, and so now you grab and you start with um, the back part of your hair and then you come climbing up and I would advise you because I did that mistake not to go very near the roots uh, because then you will stain your uh, it will it will you will stain your uh, skin and that is not very good so um, you don't have to okay guys just go the nearest the near to the root as much as possible, but that's pretty much it. Okay, I'm gonna grab more. It's better to be to put more than to put less because um, if you put less the color will not be as effective and as um, as it won't have like the color it should it should have okay the effect won't be as great and if you're thinking about how how many applications you can take out of a can, I think that's important too. Uh, for my hair, I discovered I could do two applications. So on this one, I, I only had used once. Uh, so yeah, basically one, one uh, package, uh, it's good enough for two uh, applications in, in my hair. And you, see, you saw my hair in the beginning of the video, so that's the reference you could have. But I don't have much hair, for, for, as, you can see, as you saw. But it's it's way it's way um, it's way enough for two applications. So even if you have have more hair than me, uh, if you have the same length, I'm sure you can go with, you can do well with two applications per package. And it lasts well because I use this in I bought this in November last year, 
and we are in August and I'm applying in my hair so as you can see it's still good enough after all these months I don't know if they recommend waiting for so long but they have been sealed closed and they have been away from light so I've, I've, I've I had this, them stored uh, in a closet away from light and uh, I, I haven't opened them for a very long for a very long time so that's important because air it's what mostly ruins stuff so okay so I pretty much have it on all my hair yeah so now I'm gonna put a bit more here in the front and here you can see that it starts staining your skin and once it starts staining your skin it won't come off so you don't want that because that will be visible and it will be very ugly that's a pro tip for you guys because I've been there. Okay, there you go. So that looks good. That looks good. Um, uh, as you can see, I'm not using I'm not using um, a brush because I don't want it to come off. But you can see it's very sticky, and that's what you get if you don't uh, style your hair. So that's now it's the part that you want to style your hair uh, while it's still on. Well, it's basically up until dry. So if you use a hair dry, if you use a hair dry, it will uh, it will dry uh, more. Um, it will dry faster. And so now we have the product all over the hair, and now comes the part that you are waiting for. So uh, I will blow dry my hair and make it straight, uh, so you can see um, that how the product looks on straight hair. Should brush your hair a bit now. Okay. You can see that it's already getting sticky. This product just leave, leaves your hair very sticky. Which again is great for hairstyling, but not great if you want a flowy natural hair. Okay. Uh, so let me apply it more or less like this okay okay and then we'll do this part later but I just want to brush it since I'm at it remember when you brush the product does come out a bit so don't brush don't brush too much don't over brush your hair but you do want um, you do want uh, to brush it before curling it or styling it or whatever, so that's what I'm doing. Like this, and through a little bit. Okay, there you go. Uh, let you do it. Okay, and now we will blow dry this part. Uh, so I have my blow dryer here. I have some accessories. So I will start by blow drying a bit. Okay, once you start feeling that it's starting to dry, um, use a brush. Okay, so I'll try to use a brush to separate it. I do have like this accessory. Uh, this is a brown swing um, hair hair, uh, la, uh, hair hair blower, and it's really cool. I really like it. Uh, it has been with me for 15 years or more. Such a great blow dryer. So I'm gonna put it. stop for a bit because when this gets dry it starts uh, it starts coming like this you can see there's there's dust so it, it kind of transforms into a dust and you can see I'm <laughs> pretty much covering it 
covering it. Uh, so that's what happens when it starts drying, okay? It turns it into a dust and my hair is totally dry now, but you can see, I just, I just dropped my wool dryer. That will be calm. That will be fine. Um, happened before. So you can see it's very dry. It's not flowy, even though I did my best to dry it. And it's actually, it's not too bad. It's not too bad, but it's, the texture is just awful. It looks like it's so, the hair looks and feels so dry. And it feels, of course, my hands, again, are messy, but I will, I will clean that later. But it's not, um, it's, 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 it looks like all over the place. It's dry as hell. This is not my uh, normal hair. You can see in the beginning of the video, my hair was a bit dry because I haven't washed it in a, in a, long, in a while. But usually my hair after washing, it doesn't look like this at all. So it does look like, um, it does, it does look like uh, all over the place and uh, it doesn't flow very well. But actually it's better than I did in the video because I did or I did dry it for a bit more time. So I guess the secret is dry it a bit more. But careful don't, because the product starts coming out and it's coming out, it's like, uh, it's coming out in my, uh, I'm, I'm, my, my, my trousers are full with this thing. So good thing is you can shake it off, but yeah, so I will dry, you know what, to be honest, I was thinking about curling the other half, but I will dry, I will blow dry the full thing, because I want to see uh, how it looks with the full hair. a lot of hair because as you can see I mean it, it is very pasty and much of your hair if you have like thin hair and prone to uh, fall like I do uh, in mo many of your hair will come off so yeah this is what I have on my blow dryer and there's more so yeah this is definitely not something you should do um, very often <laughs> uh, it will it will totally ruin your hair uh, it does have like this fixating feeling to it. You can see that uh, I put it, I put it for on the back, in the end, and it's it stayed there. So I just I was just going for like a feeling of blow dryer to the, to the back. So there you go. Uh, it's still a bit sticky, so I think I think I still have to blow dry it a bit more because it's still a bit. Well, it will always. That's the thing. It will always be sticky. Even uh, as the, the, even if you blow dry it a lot, but still, still, I still feel there's a part here. Okay, I'm gonna clean it. All right, and here we go. Here's the result after cleaning. Uh, it always comes down, you know. Uh, I just I, I washed my hair my hands and there's already a bit of dust everywhere so it, it does get like this dusty thing to it when it dries so I wouldn't recommend uh, I wouldn't recommend for sure wearing white clothes with this because it will definitely stain your clothes uh, as, as time passes by it does drop uh, less ink and less uh, less dust, but it's it's it, it will always come up a bit, okay? Even when you're driving a car or something, be careful because it will for sure get stained in the car seat. So it, it is it does have like that annoying thing to it. But overall, you know, to be honest, I wasn't expecting it to be um, as good. It does it does give a lot of volume to the hair. Again, my hair is very sticky. You can see that it's not like I cannot even put my fingers. See, it's very sticky, it looks very dry, 
But overall, it does, it did came off uh, better than expected and it did came off better than next last time I did with, with on my video clip. You can see on my video clip that um, it, it's not as, it not, uh, I should have dried it a bit more. So uh, it definitely comes, uh, gets better with practice. Uh, and again, this one that I wear, of course, then I, you have to clean all your accessories. Um, this one was the bronze, the brown, actually it's brown, it's called brown. It does look browner than the, the other time, than the last time I used it. It's probably because the most, uh, the more you brush it, the more the color gets off your hair. So you don't want to brush it too much or the color will totally come off. So there you go, this is the application and this is blow drying it, that's, that's how it gets if you, if you want like uh, straight hair with it, that's what you get, okay? You don't get the flowy hair you see on the pictures, I'm sorry to break it up to you. And if you think it's my hair's fault, it's not, I've tried it on a hair wig and the result was completely the same. So basically the texture of my hair right now, do you know those dolls, I don't know if you have if you had dolls growing up, but you know when you try to comb your doll's hair and it's so dry, so dry, and you end up taking half of it off. So basically that's how my hair feels like now. <laughs> that's how my hair feels right now. So it's it, it, it's not, you cannot put your fingers to it. Um, but overall it does look, I'm, I, uh, I, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. To be honest, it looks better than uh, uh, it did on my video clip. So I really like it. And I just have to put some matching makeup and I'm ready to go. So what do you think guys? Do you think this is a good option for you? Let me know in the comments and uh, don't forget to subscribe, help my channel grow, reach more people and if, if you have any further questions related to ceviche hair coloring wax, um, drop them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer it. Like I say, I'm not sponsored and um, I just happened to try this product and I, I just thought about making this review very honest and very blunt uh, overall I do feel like it's it's a good it's a good value for the price it does have its use does it replace um, hair dye no it's totally different it's not even in the same league um, it's not even in the same league it's totally different but it does have its use its usability and it's a really cool way of trying new colors in your hair because you can see how it looks like right you can have a, a perspective if you never had your color in a certain color if you never had your hair on a different color and you really want to try it out but you are not sure how it's going to be um, in your hair it's a really good option for you so I do recommend it for that but for you know for just for special occasions not for everyday use for sure and uh, I will not go to bed with my hair like this no way I will have to wash my hair later because I don't want to stain my whole <laughs> my whole bed with this and I don't want to suggest I just I just feel like this is very strong on your hair and I don't like to put my hair through all these chemicals and yeah it does smell it, it doesn't smell so much as it did but it definitely still smells okay so yeah people around you will totally feel this smell so um, that's it guys hope you enjoyed it and again drop your comments and your doubts below